Hi, and welcome to section two, game number three, Minesweeper. In the previous section, we discussed procedural generation with the use of prefabs and randomness to create a basic concentration game framework. In this section, we'll expand the concept of procedural generation further by making our third game in the series, Minesweeper. There are quite a few videos in this section, since we'll be creating all of the functionality of the game. Not only will we make the core game functionality, but we will also give the game UI elements that allow the player to see how long they take to complete the level, select their difficulty level, pause and unpause the game, as well as save their best scores through multiple playthroughs. The first video of this section deals with setting up the tile prefab that will be used to represent the various tile squares in the game's field. In this video, we're going to take a look at bringing in the artwork that will be used for the tiles, setting up the sprite sheet by slicing it and setting the pixels per unit property, and then lastly, creating the tile prefab using the art. This should all be review at this point, but it does need to be completed before we can make the game. Before we begin, I want to show you some changes I made to the project. I created a new scene called Minesweeper. This is the scene that we will be using to build out the game for this section. I also created subfolders within the scripts, sprites, and prefabs folder called Concentration and Minesweeper. I moved all of the files we created with our last game into the concentration files. I left the level loader script in the scripts folder because it will be used in both games. I recommend you do the same before you continue. Let's bring our artwork into the project. You should have a sprite sheet called Minesweeper Tiles. Drag it into the Minesweeper folder within the Sprites folder. Now we need to slice up the sprite sheet so that we can use the individual images. Change the sprite mode to multiple and open the sprite editor. Select Slice Automatic and apply the changes. Clicking on any of the sub-images will reveal their dimensions. They are each 132 by 132 pixels. So that our map to places our tiles can be done using single units, like with our concentration game, we'll change this pixel per unit property to 132 for this sprite sheet. Now each sprite will only take up one square unit within the scene, and we don't have to worry about using the tiles width and height when calculating their placement. Now all we need to do is create the prefab. Select the last image in the sprite sheet. This will represent the standard, not revealed tile. Drag it into the hierarchy so that it is automatically placed in the scene at the origin. You can see that its coordinates are 0, 0, 0. Now rename it Minesweeper Tile. To make it a prefab, all we have to do is drag it into the Minesweeper folder within the Prefabs folder. Its name will turn blue in the hierarchy, letting you know it's now a prefab. Go ahead and delete it from the scene. We'll be automatically generating the tiles in the scene, so we don't need this tile to be sitting in here. In this video, we brought in the art for our tiles and created our tile prefab. In the next video, we're going to generate the field of tiles based on various difficulty levels.